Hi, I'm Andre Basto, and I'd like to welcome you to my new neighborhood at Cal Poly Pomona. My first initial impressions of Cal Poly Pomona was the beautiful scenery and landscapes that were present throughout the campus. Making your way past the two buildings of Sycamore and Sequoia, you'll find the band orchestra of Cal Poly Pomona. Also, there's Center Point, where you'll find most of the food. Center Point, also known as CP, is like a home away from home because of the food. I find myself often eating the meatballs and pasta, or pizza, and even the sushi. As you walk into the doorway of Center Point, you'll see many employees and many fellow students around eating and sharing meals together. Past Center Point is where you'll find the Student Services Building, which is, in my opinion, one of the best architectural pieces that is found in Cal Poly Pomona. Next to the Student Services Building is the University Plaza, which I haven't yet to explore, but hopefully in the future. Walking through the building of the Student Services Building is often a treat to see. Walking past the Student Services Building is where you'll find the Classroom Laboratory Administration Building, a much older building that is no longer in use, however, still presents a beautiful architectural structure. To the left of the building is where you'll find one of my favorite landscapes of Cal Poly Pomona. One of the most peaceful places on campus is the Japanese Garden, where you'll see many students reading, talking, and hanging with friends. I often enjoy the beautiful scenery that surrounds the Japanese garden with the koi pond and spotting turtles and even koi fish. The small bridges and beautiful waterfall are some of my favorite things about the Japanese garden. Inside of the CLA building is a beautiful view of the entire campus and beyond. Although one complaint could be the parking around Cal Poly Pomona, because it's often than not much harder to find one very close to the campus. Another place where I spend a frequent amount of times are the older dorm buildings known as Encinitas, Ensenadas, Montecito. I just call it the slums. Often than not, I usually spend time with friends there, hanging out and chilling in the older dorms. Once we all get tired of sitting in the dorms, we often find ourselves going up to the basketball courts where we'll hoop, hang out, sit around, and just enjoy the outside. To conclude, my new neighborhood at Cal Poly Pomona has been fun, exciting, and adventurous. I've gotten the chance to meet new people and have a great exploration throughout the campus.